Alrighty. So, I played this game, Salt of the Circle, for the first look. It goes pretty good. So, let's play some more. See if I like it by the end of the stream. So, it crashed somewhere far away from everything else. I have one co pilot who is stuck because he hurt his leg. And we're trying to find help. For summary, I guess. You seem to be a professor of something I don't remember. Weather. Which is kind of ironic, I guess. Oh, I am uh, doing that. Okay. For some reason our co-pilot told us not to go back for him, although we have a vehicle and he must be freezing because we crashed the plane. Which makes zero sense. I don't know. Again, that that makes no sense whatsoever. The car has heating, so why wouldn't we go back to him? Also, drive at a straight line, my dude. Thanks for picking me up like that. I'm absolutely soaked. Oh yeah, we do get frequent, uh, frequent. I must have looked a terrible. What's the word? Flashbacks. Oh, and I don't remember. You must be freezing. Don't know what happened. What is our? Can I see them somewhere? Yes, alright. So this is how we communicate, I guess, in the game. This is what we pick. So, forthright, strong, assertive, caring, honest, open, panic, confusion, concern. Mm, interesting. But this is also concerning. It's just, it's not just, oh, this is a negative. Hmm. I think I'm setting on something. Oh, sorry, it's your peepers. Oh, I haven't got them all wet. Oh, Fine. Don't, don't worry about it. So this is your grand tome about the clouds. Do you, would you mind if I take a look? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I mean, if you can understand. Excuse me. I'm sorry, my goodness. What? Do you have a right to be here? You know, I have earned my place. What are you talking about? Well, maybe this is a bad idea. I don't want to read them anyway if you don't think I can understand them. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. I, I meant they're probably illegible. I meant you might not be able to read them. That's all. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just a bit sensitive, yes. A lot. I'm a bit sensitive. Crosswise. I thought, I thought you so this is England, I guess. There. My office, see me. Anyway, sorry. As I said, don't worry. Um, <clears throat> take a look if you like. Oh, uh, thank you. It's also in the past, like, I can see you're an 20s to 70s something. Well, the rest is probably classified. <laughs> don't remember. And where is yours, may I ask? May I read that? Stop it. You haven't started it, I know. I will. I haven't had three years. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, sorry, that was a bit low. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I'm just a bit tired at the moment. My proposal was rejected again yesterday. It needs more work. You can talk to me, you know. I know what it's like trying to find the right subject. I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever find it. Friend Molly's nearly finished hers, and here I am, not even at the starting line. Well, if you are anything like as successful as you are with your lectures, you'll be fine. Thanks, Doctor. I'll, uh, I'll just put you safe down here. <laughs> Cambridge. 
Even on a day like this, I do love this journey. Um, sure. My car, you mean? Yes. <laughs> well. Oh my God. Picking you up in this mighty steed. <laughs> oh, yes. He needs a big bus when you can have a car like this. Your presence tells me this is obviously better for picking up ladies. Oh, well, you can just about fit one in if that's what you mean. Anyway, this bus will do just fine. Thanks again for getting me out of the rain like that. It was... Don't mention it. No, uh, no it was an inconvenience. It, it, it won't happen again. Oh, okay. Do they even have stations? We're picking up something. We have one station in England. <laughs> began today in Washington between Britain, the United States, and Soviet Russia over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty. Yeah, I think this is Cold War. Military aggression in so 60s or 70s, I guess. Reports of recent skirmishes on the continent have established the need to reaffirm the worldwide commitment to peace. All eyes will be on Russia, whose reported reluctance to rejoin the talks is a point of concern for the British government. In a statement read outside the White House, Prime Minister Macmillan called on Russia to engage in the talks wholeheartedly to ensure a lasting peace in the nuclear era. I don't know that Prime Minister so can tell when he was, in fact, Prime Minister. This goes way too fast. You don't see it changing every few meters or anything. Uh, let's not for yeah. Can you go straight? This guy is drifting to the left. I'm not pressing anything. Look at it. Unless it's the camera, I guess. Could be. Seven, maybe. It'll never happen again. You keep saying. Oh, wait. Oh, look, there's Molly. Wow. I, I haven't seen her in ages. Can you just pull over and we can say hello? All right, activists. Molls. Clara. Oh, it's wonderful to see you. Well, you can't miss us all today. <laughs> Is this your handsome bus driver? I didn't call him that. Molly, this is Peter. Peter, this is Molly. I've heard. That's nice colors this game has. Heard, heard what? You'll be joining us, I hope. Joining you here outside? On the big march from Aldermaston, the atomic weapons factory. This time we're all going to start there, then march on London. Straight to Parliament. Tens of thousands of us. They'll have to listen to us this time. Four days, sure. isn't that right? Seems a bit excessive. Worth it to save the world, don't you think? I don't want to comment on that. It's a waste of time, isn't it? If this is a waste of time, I'd like to know what really was worth someone's time. Oh, sorry, uh, Peter, Molly is a lecturer at the college too, when she's not showing me the ropes or working on her opus. Oh, that's all done now. The paper's published. Oh, that's wonderful. Good riddance too. I couldn't bear having it hanging over me any longer. <clears throat> uh, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. I can focus on this for a while. Much more important. Do you think this will make a difference? 
But jolly well has to, don't you think? Considering what's at stake, we're all under threat. I would have thought as a man of science you'd know all about it. Clara mentioned you'd been studying radiation carried by the clouds. Seems Clara's told you all my secrets. Well, I didn't know it was an official secret. No, no, it's, it's not. It's not. That's... it's fine. The radiation is what's terrifying. One hydrogen bomb could kill one million people in an instant. But then the radiation spreads and could kill millions more. Slowly this time. The British government is building more bombs when they should be doing the opposite. Disarming. Setting an example to the world. Yes, that will help. Wouldn't that let our guard down? Isn't, isn't that what the Soviets want? We're not naive, you know. We want the three uh, sides to stop entrenching themselves. Uh, All this posturing of theirs can only end one way. It's got to be unilateral nuclear disarmament. Otherwise, every day we are one step closer to the end. The problem I have with um, philosophers like that, which are, uh, which doesn't make sense, right? No one wants a nuclear uh, armament. It's stupid. It's just a great way to kill ourselves. It makes no sense whatsoever. The problem I have with people like that who fight the good fight, and it is the good fight, is that uh, they always assume conditions that do not exist in real life. It's like a lot of uh, government uh, methods, democracy, communism, whatever, any, any government method. It assumes that people will react in a way which is not actually accurate as to how people react. And it never works properly because of that. It's always an ideal, but it doesn't have practical application. What's the problem I have with a lot of left theories uh, and behaviors, I guess. With any luck, they'll thrash it out. And what if they don't? Right, uh, I've got a lecture to give. Peter it is a, the correct Peter. way to think, right? Like, it's not... It's a bad way or they are uh, naive, as I said. They are naive on that it won't work. But it should work. The problem is, it won't work. We should all want to be like that. But you know you know what? You're doing this thing, stop it. Like, every government is there because the people allow them to be there. Doesn't matter if it's the dictatorship, if it's communism, if it's democracy, whatever. The people are always the vast majority of, uh, well, people in any country. So the government only functions when they allow them to do that. So we do that though. We allow them to raise the taxes and give tax breaks to the Brits, not offering healthcare in some countries because it's weird. Which is kind of, you know, I don't know, we humans are weird. Smile. Of course not. It was good to meet you, Peter. Good to meet you too. You're coming on the march, aren't you, Clara? I wouldn't miss it for anything. And you, Peter? I don't know. I need to work. I, uh, I, I've rather too much work, actually. Uh, don't think I'll get away. Shame. Well, in the meantime, I'm sure Clara will take very good care of you. She will? That's enough, Molly Shanahan. We'll be off now. You go and get your bus, Clara. Ding, ding. Like this, you should want to fight for your rights. Impressive, isn't she? No more than you are. It is weird how we see them as ineffectual, and they are. And as naive and maybe not worth the time, but... As I said, it is worth the time. It is worth doing something right. Worth fighting for what you believe in. It's... We're very bipolar, or at least I am in this. I don't think I've ever uh, made out my mind one way or another. Change only comes through fighting for it. It won't come... by peaceful manners, by... saying, hey, hey, maybe they will think of it on their own and do the right thing. In the push for change. I don't think I've been in any, like, um, march or anything in my life.
So yeah, I guess I'm a hypocrite in that aspect. Like most people, to be fair. In is a bitch. We all want better things, but almost no one is willing to fight for them. You know what I'm gonna say? I've got a pretty good idea. You need to get out more. I have to work. Oh, come on, old chap. I have to say, I've never really understood it. Here you are writing about clouds, and yet you never see the sky. What do you know? I've got a lot of writing to be getting on with, Joe, so if you could... Well, let's see some of these words then, shall we? Come on, man or a mouse. <laughs> Why is top secret, is it? Is it? I don't know. Me? Yeah. What do you think, Sam? I'm sure some of it is oh, really good. This animations. I really have got a lot of work to do. It would seem so. Don't worry, old chap. Yeah, I've went to that Sometimes march. Sometimes it's all part of writing a paper. Now, come on, don't be so modest, Sam. You dashed yours off in a few months. Well, maybe I was fortunate, but the point is... The point is, you set your sights straight and true, sat down and wrote the damn thing. It wasn't quite like that. Well, you did it. Now here you are, senior lecturer. Which makes two of us. <sighs> did Joseph not mention he got a promotion <laughs> too? It does tend to slip his mind for a few seconds occasionally. Well, you know what could be open to him if he gets this right and gets promotion? His own department, eventually. Professorship. You can't reach those heights if you stay in this hovel for the rest of your life. Well, that's true, but I wouldn't My point quite was put it. that saying to Peter it's all part of the process is just kind words. What we need to do is help our poor friend here be a man and write. All right. All right. Maybe I could use a little help here and there, but I don't need any pity. Oh, it's not pity. We believe in you. We just don't want to come back and have the same conversation. Just don't start again. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it, Sam? I think he's right, Peter. I know it's tempting to want to forget everything and start again on a blank page, but then you're risking making the same mistakes all over again. You know, sometimes it's better to see where you've gone wrong, that's all. Let it help you. Good things might come of it. Good things like a promotion, I might add. Like Joseph says, don't start again. All right, then. What do you suggest, Sam? I know what you need. Go on, then. What? What you need is some inspiration. Those three new girls. You know the ones. Undergraduates. Door open. They'll be at the Fox and Hounds this evening. And so, my good man, shall we? Eight o'clock. See you there? Uh, no, no, I should work. You should come. But if you can't, that's one girl for Sam and two for me. We'll buy you a pint anyway. See you later, old chap. Good luck with it. We'll see you later. Don't be shy, Peter. Come along. Man or a mouse? Oh, the mistakes in life we make. Or I make for this character, I guess. Seven o'clock, I thought you said. Oh, fashionably late. <laughs> Come sit, I got you some tea. Oh, great idea, thank you. Uh, sugar for you? Oof. Yes, two for me, please. Okay. Is that important enough to? <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, you're soaked. Where's your jacket? Oh, uh, well, uh, not on me, of course. Um, Mind on other things. The paper again? Still all consuming? All consuming. Oh, I don't blame you. I've been thinking about it quite a bit too. Uh, you have? Ab about my paper? Yes. To tell you the truth, I'm rather stuck. I gathered. 
Do you finish it for me, do you think? I thought you could <laughs> handle it. Uh, I can, I can. It's... Well, it's, a, it's a beautiful idea. I think that's why it stuck with me. It means a lot that it did. It would be like <laughs> having a superpower, being able to predict the path of the clouds. Yeah, we couldn't do that, that at one point in life. <laughs> you could be cloud man. Are you taking this seriously? Well, you could predict when it's going to rain, at least. <laughs> when I was growing up, it was actually... Which was, you know, a few decades ago. It was actually pretty common to be wrong about the weather. Like, there were predictions, but they were like half... Have a chance to get it right, have a chance to get it wrong. These days it's pretty rare to get it wrong. This weather reminds me of home. Was it this miserable all the time? No. Although Edinburgh always looked better in the rain to me. So that's why I choose to remember it. That's where you grew up, isn't it? That's right. And I wish we had some rain. Islands too. We haven't seen rain like for the last... It's up there once in a while. Two, three months. Brothers and sisters? One brother. Older. Are you alright? Yes. Sorry. Uh, I, I didn't mean to pry. It's just, um... He was killed in a motorcycle accident near the... Eight. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. It's life. Or, well, the opposite. How old were you when it happened? Uh, 16. But still, I have a lot of happy memories about him. That sucks. At the cottage, he always used to get up early, go out into the forest, bring back armloads of wood, wood for the fire. It was sweet, really. The house was already warm for us. I like the sound of doing that. I could do that. Grab an axe, go out each morning, chop wood. You could be the woodsman, then. Oh, better than the cloud man. Stronger. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I like cloud man. So, these clouds, your beautiful subject. What do you think you need? Oh, well, that's simple. More readings to work with. Hmm, sounds achievable. Well, in theory, yes, but they need to be first-hand, verifiable. All right. I take it it all has to be taken somewhere where the readings aren't affected by other factors? Hmm, you got it. The thing is, it needs to be somewhere very remote, and I need to be there for a while, you see, to get enough readings. Mm, that makes sense. And I suppose the university budget doesn't exactly allow you to travel the world. Maybe... What? Well, that cottage I mentioned... Boy! <laughs> highest place for miles around and now would be the time to go with summer coming up all summer free well i'd have to check with my father but it's remote just a little place in the woods with a log fire and not much else but if that's what you're looking for i am that's just the kind of place i've been searching for promise me you're serious about this that's on scout's honor mm, scout's honor Anyway, no more past tense. No more past tense, eh? Hmm. Sorry, I didn't know how I felt about the cottage until I started talking about it. I shouldn't have said anything. We don't have to go. Thanks for understanding. Oh, but still, it sounds perfect for the work. Up your mind. <laughs> I think I'd be able to find somewhere else, you know. I must be able to. It's just... I don't know what my father would say about me bringing an unmarried man up there. Well, if you're worried about your father, we don't need to go. No, no, I'm not worried about him. It's just not exactly Morden. Not exactly ringing the changes like Malls. Doubt her father even knows what she's up to. You should have seen Malls on that march, striding. Yeah, forward. I should have gone. Shame he didn't come. Quite the force of nature. Do you think the bus will make it there? Zulu's a mistake not doing oh, things. Not that bus, silly. <laughs> you know, 
your bus. Ding ding. Oh, oh, the mighty steed. Better to go and uh, not like something than not to go and then wander. We can always try. All right, to the mountains. Oh, we want to make it in one piece. We do. I didn't suggest the route. Just keep driving. I know it seems to go on forever. Just trust me. The cottage is only a few miles away now. How are you feeling about this? Oh, uh, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, a bit strange to be honest. Like I'm about to step back. This is the blue beetle, right? I haven't been here in so long. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know. I don't quite know if things will feel different coming back. I hope you'll Literally, like it. I guess. Oh, I, I'm sure I will. Well, it's not a bit but close enough. This, I don't know. And and thank you for asking your father. I know this is a big thing. <laughs> well. I told him I was taking a friend. I didn't mention you were a man. That's uh, not great. Oh, uh, do, you, do you think he'd disapprove? Not exactly. No. Well. What if he drops by? He is very old-fashioned, but. Well, thank you for coming along. Well, in, in inviting me and coming along. Oh no! I mean, without me, who'd you find it for a start? I couldn't rightly let you run away all by yourself. So you're running away with me? Stop it. This is purely professional, isn't it? We could run away. I doubt it. Live in the woods. You are being presumptuous, aren't you? No, I'm here to help. You'll need help with the equipment and recording all. We're the to themselves. I couldn't leave you stranded up here in the middle of nowhere. I'd, I'd build us a shelter. Be the man of the woods. Oh, he's back, is he? The woodsman. <laughs> I'm telling you, I could do that. Just. Be the kind of man who remembers to fill up the tank when we're off to the middle of nowhere. Well, I am. Where's last words? Isn't a big mistake. Why would you even say that? Like seriously. Why do you make the guy insecure? threatening to walk out of discussions early. The new president, Lyndon B. Johnson, made an impassioned speech during which he criticized the Soviets' aggressive stance and reasserted the need for compromise. The president described the Russians as playing a lethal hand and asserted that continuing to do so would risk leading the world into war. Mm. Things get darker, I guess. Where the hell are you going with this car? How far away was our destination? Finally. Anyone there? Or is this also abandoned? Something tells me it's gonna be abandoned. The door is half open though, so maybe not. Kinda looks like the other place.
Yeah, that door. Hmm. Interesting. The music is also interesting. Is that Russian? I don't remember. Yes. Soviet, sorry. Wrong AIDS. Yes, do that. That's not suspicious at all. What are you doing? Just knock and says I'm in the middle of nowhere. Help. Yeah, open to the elements, no one's here. Interesting that both places were abandoned. What's going on? Good question. Don't you worry now, Pete. We're here for you. Your father's on his way up. Said he'd like a word too. Such a big boy now. What happened today? It's not your fault. I just want you to know that. Well, these boys, well, I bet they're just trying to make you feel small because they're feeling small inside. Don't you listen to them, all right? All right. Here he is. I thought that's going to be a kind word. What do you say we carry on with making that rabbit hutch tomorrow, eh? That'd be Different times, too. Those matters will handle differently. To the way. He is. No more tears, eh? No, no, he's... He's settled. How dare you cry? What kind of man are you? Etc. Go on, it's alright, we'll be fine. Well, if you're sure... Good night, Pete. gonna do with you you are the fault your mother won't like me saying this but it's true you've got to learn to stand up for yourself the next time you hit them back <laughs> you hit me the good old deeds an eye for an eye that's what I've always said Still, if you see it coming, you get in there first. Like first, try hard. No mercy. I know it sounds hard, but life's hard. I'm not even sure they were wrong. Let's to be fair. Now, rather than later, eh? There. I could have coddled children a lot these days. And I don't think we prepare them properly for life. In multiple ways. Alright. Good boy. A lot of things that need to change from that mentality. The no sharing for men, you know no emotion, etc. Did a lot of damage. But this. Tears. Everybody is first and. Uh, doesn't matter and, uh, in general huge godling in pretty much every way I don't think that makes better humans either there's not enough discipline too Take care of himself. 
Do you like feeling like this? No, no. Look too bloody soft with him, that's the problem. That's how he got here in the first place. I won't have my son monitored. If that's what you think I'm doing, then I'm sorry. Well, you don't sound sorry. What about Sinan? Hmm, interesting. Is the were there globes actually colored or is this just these are the players in this story? Old War, UK, US, Russia, etc. Again, must be better way, middle way between that and this. The father has anger issues. Lexed. Don't lie to me, Peter. What did I say? What did I say before I left? No more tears. And no more sound, I said. So why are you disobeying me, eh? You are in serious trouble tomorrow. Again. Extremes. He has a point in some of the things he says, but uh, obviously this is an extreme form of what I was talking about, but it's also not good. Good night, Pete. Sorry. Not your fault. It's a weird place to have that flashback. What? What are you doing? This way. This way. Nope. This way. Can I not check this out? I guess not. The controls are kind of strange, but doesn't matter. Play this game for the story. Now, can we find out why everyone is missing from these stations? That would be nice. Looks like a puzzle. Ah. What? Nothing. Damn kettle's hot, that's all. Watch out. Hmm. You're right. What's that? Oh yes. Um, have you got the tea on? Ah, oh, water's boiling. Hope there's enough. Well, 
Don't worry about me, just make sure you have what you need. I can't do this. What are you talking about? Like it's fine, nothing. Are you sure? It doesn't sound like nothing. Come in, Clara, do you read me? Look, I'm sorry about last night. I... I didn't mean for you to have to sleep on the sofa. Oh, oh, don't mention it. It's a, it's a very comfy sofa. Oh, um, I'm glad. I thought you'd be annoyed. It's not the same for us, is it? What, what do you mean? You know what, what most of the men at Cambridge are like? They can take home whoever they like and they can tell all their friends about it afterwards. Like, they just get a slap on the back and a well done, old chap. For us, it's, it's different. If you don't keep quiet about it like Molly doesn't, then you're a girl with a reputation. This bullshit, I guess. All right, look, it's, it's early. I'll get us some breakfast in a bit, shall I? Sounds nice. It didn't have anything to do with you, that's what I mean. I see, just men in general. <laughs> right, I'm generalizing. It's just, I suppose I've had friends at school, um, girlfriends who play into this whole thing too, the whole parade of it. Didn't understand my interest in science. And thought I was a bit weird. Better be the weird and not weird. Well, <laughs> only in the right ways. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just in an odd frame of mind. I thought the work might help keep my head straight. Maybe a, a walk would help you. No, no, I, I like it. I'm enjoying it, really. I want this to be good. That's one thing I definitely got from my father. It's perfectionism, for better or worse. Hard to live up to. Well, it's good to be ambitious and what's this if it's not ambitious <sighs> speaking of which there's something I noticed show me I just looked at the latest batch of atmospheric radiation readings don't worry everything seems to be moving in ways we're expecting it's it's all consistent it's just it's just consistently higher too compared to the ones we took a few months ago he's got new equipment maybe that would explain why everything's jumped at once. Well, I'll double check everything again now. It's just something I noticed as I glanced over them. It'll be good for me to focus on something like this anyway. But what? Then. Gently. Oh, don't worry about me. Look, why don't you look around? There's plenty of books to read. Who's writing this paper? Us or Okiel? Why not? I know she's helping us, but still kind of weird. Play some music. Oh. I like that this is a cabin in the wind that they have a fucking picture of a deer. Alright. I wish you could walk straight. How long do you want to stay quiet? I said sit here until dinner is ready. When will this be ready? On the note, 10 to 20 minutes. Okay. Thanks. Dear Ma, happy mother, happy mothering Sunday. Sorry, the card is such. Clara won, uh, wanted to make it. Dear Ma, Robin's being mean. Wouldn't help me with the card. I love you, Clara. Okay. So she is Clara, right? I think so. Rob is the older brother that died. Okay. On this on engineering science. Robbie, good luck with your studies. Great things ahead of you. I know you'll do us proud. Pa. Ah. Robert McKirick, 1953, Clara McKirick, 1955. Is that when they were born? They were born in 55. She's in college, kind of teaching, so she should be at least plus 20. 
It's late 70s, maybe early 80s. Uh, all right. Ruby 6.2, AIDS 18. Hmm. Anything else? There we go. Music. Oh, well, look at this. Oh, that whole thing. Feel free to put something on. Sorry, there's not a lot of choice. Makes me wonder if I'd be where I am today if he was still around. You know, Cambridge and the whole thing. Does that make me a terrible person? No. No, no, but I... I don't think I'd follow. You'd have been successful no matter what.
Something tells me. Does this thing work? Probably not. This feels very jury rigged. Ah, yeah, maybe it does work. Floyd, can you hear me? Peter, you're safe. Where are you? You didn't run into any Soviets then. I'm guessing you found the Norwegians. Tell me they've got a doctor, mate. This leg is killing me. Yep. Floyd, the base I'm at. It's not Norwegian. It's Soviet. Can you repeat that? It is Soviet. It's a Soviet base. No. But no one is here. It's freezing. Everything was powered down. I, I, I think I just had to restart the generator again. I don't understand. Are we way off course? No, no, it makes no sense. You followed the map, right? <laughs> my instincts. But there's another map here. Does it explain anything? Can you see anything that might be the Norwegian base? Over there. Yes, I, yes, I can see it. I can see the flag. Ah, oh, well, at least I'm not going crazy. And at least you haven't been attacked yourself. What's the terrain like? Is it a straight shot? It looks like it's between two mountains. On the other side of a bay. There's a ship marked on there, too. Christ. Well, if there's a ship, at least that means the base is pretty well supplied. But there's something else on the map. Some area shaded out past the mountains. What does that mean? Is it dangerous? I don't know, mate. Floyd, I, I can see if I can find some medicine for you. Bring it back to you. No, 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 Peter, that makes no sense. We'd still be stuck out here. This guy is hallucinating or something, right? Anyone on the radio. Our only hope is for you to find a friendly out there. It's very weird that every time we asked to come back to him, to help him, he said no. You need help, Floyd. We don't have any option. Peter, I'll be honest with you. If you come back here now, we might not make it. Do you understand? I don't. It's What's this being powered down and he speaks to himself? What if I run out of fuel on the way to the Norwegians? So you drive as far as you can and then you get out and walk, Peter. That's insane. If you could see this map, you'd know how insane it was. Look, get it together. This is it. I don't like it any more than you do, but you're a grown man, Peter. If you don't do this, we're both done for. You hear me? We are dead. Peter, are you there? Peter, come in. I'm here, all right? All right, I I'll go. I'll go. Ah, good man. Good man, you can do it. Now you know where you're going. Uh... I'm, uh, I'm heading for those two mountains, and it's, um, it's the other side of the bay, past that. Right. And did you say there was a ship? Yes, yes, a ship on the other side of the bay. Mountains, bay, ship, say it back to me. Mountains. Bay. Ship. Right you are. I'll save the flares for when you're on your way back, all right? Mate, come have a little party. Let's get out of here first. You just hang on, all right? I will, mate. I will. I'll try and catch some entertainment on the radio. Some of those beeps, maybe. You heard any of that? Yes. Yes, I can pick it up here, too. No idea what it is. No better way to piss off a stranded pilot, though, I'll tell you that. Good luck, mate.
Black Floyd. He's got some great voice acting. Again, I don't think this is a really expensive game, probably. Like, it's not a play. But it has really good art, really good uh, voice acting. And so far, the story is very interesting. Now, can we find some actual fuel before we go? This whole base must have some fuel, right? Probably. Can I leave that door open? I don't know. I guess not. And we still don't know why all these bases are uh, empty. Even if we are hallucinating and we didn't put any fuel, great. Good job. Again, whole base, no fuel. Then a little bit. How about that generator? Didn't have any fuel we could uh, siphon off. Let's go into the mountains with no fuel in the middle of the Arctic. Good plan. I have to admit, I'm a bit nervous getting into the passenger side. The fuck? Nervous? Why? I've seen you driving. Do you want a lift or not? Sorry, old chap. Of course. Right. Let's see if we can solve this. Cryptic one this time. Two down, eight letters, begins with U. Builder goes mad during door removal. Unhinged? <laughs> ah. Now I wow. think I took the lift with you. Wow. U N hinged. You sure you wouldn't be happier in the English department? It's the only reason I buy these things now. Although, there was that one story I wanted to read. Can you believe it? About that Molly girl. What happened I to you? Heard anything? What story? Oh. No, you've been away in Scotland again, haven't you? Lucky you. The lecturer, Molly Shanahan. Yeah. That is the right stir outside college. Black cars blocking the road. Plain clothes police, or so it looked. Photographs here on page two. I know her. She's the 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 one that wears the red jacket. Well, it has one jacket. I don't know about that. This one could be red. Bit of a giveaway if it was. But you know her. Wow, really. She's a friend. Well, a, a friend of a. Friend. Good lord, you're not mixed up in all this, are you? No. You know, politics isn't my thing. Too much writing to do. Well, it says here she's rumored to have links with the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. <clears throat> Probably bullshit. Miss Shanahan, lecturer at Newhall College, Cambridge, was known as the nuclear weapons organizations. Anti nuclear weapons organization. It's not ties. The suspicion since the march in Whitehall earlier this year. She has been charged with handling data sensitive to Her Majesty's government and passing that data to contacts in Moscow. Well, let's hope Clara is okay. That, do you? Doesn't really matter what I believe, does it? It's going to make the professor jumpy. Not the reason he wanted the university in the papers. Questions remain over whether she was working alone and how the university uh, dealing with the fall. Shit. Well, same as usual, I suppose. Just carry on. Molly and Clara were good friends. I hope this won't come back on her. Oh, so Clara's that uh, friend you mentioned then? She is. Yeah. She'll be worried sick. Look, despite all this newspaper talk, it's only questioning. I wouldn't get too worked up about it. Is it? I'm not getting worked up. I just don't like the idea of everyone spying on each other, that's all. Well, of course I hate to see it, but you know, nothing to do with us, old chap. It is when you know someone who's involved. It'll blow over soon, I'm sure. I wouldn't be so sure. What if this is just the start? All right, then. let's take another look at this one. Four across, nine letters, begins with T. Oh, this is what I am when you're driving. Rhymes with verified. <sighs> okay. I get the message. Just gonna write that one down. Can you find live long enough? No, 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 no. Keep going. No. Come on. Oh, Maybe next time put the fucking fuel in. No, no, no! We no. talked about this like a few scenes ago. Damn it! Alright, great. Let's <laughs> walk. Walk in the middle of nowhere.
They didn't give us a chance to actually do anything about it, it was just done. I guess this is part of the script. What do you want, dog? Can I... Maybe take something? No, okay. Alright, just go forward, I guess. That will surely end well. It's just what I could cobble together with a meager budget. I just wanted to make sure that if I was carrying the kitchen sink, it was a scientifically useful kitchen sink. I've been meaning to tell you, I, I heard from Molly just before we left. Oh, I, I hadn't heard anything since she was arrested. Me neither until now. Well, it's been awful, as you'd expect. Arrested and questioned like that for so long. She sounded a bit shaken. Didn't sound like her at all. So is, is she still under arrest? Well, that's what she was calling about. She was being released without charge. Well, that's nice. Well, that's a relief. Well, it's better than her still being locked up, that's for certain. But something was a little off about it. She's trying to implicate other people. Foul play? Something must be going on. But I can't put my finger on it. She wasn't being very clear. She wasn't sure if she wants to come back to college. I, I don't know when I'll see her again. I'm better off. Oh, I'm, I'm sure she'll be back. Hmm. It's just... I hope it doesn't ruin things. Her academic career everything you know is good so many people think that where there's smoke there's fire it's bloody unfair is you don't know she's not coming back no but i know there are people who'd much rather she didn't i wouldn't like to be in her shoes that's for sure this cold war suddenly feels a bit real doesn't it This transition is so well made. Look. The middle of nowhere. Like this is... How do you even pass these mountains to reach to whatever? They don't seem to have any food, any... form of... making ourselves warm. Water. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Shall I send it up? Yes. On the count of three. One. Too late. I'll never tire of doing that. This is just drop here. Uh, own work. Work with us. Oh, that was quick. Oh, well, you know me. Ready for the walk back? Absolutely. Absolutely. Although, there's something I want you to see first. Sounds intriguing. Follow me, you'll see. Fancy we climb? Uh, of course. Come on. Together we can make it to the top. What would you say? No. Here. I want to go back. Do this as a girl, I can do it again now. Come on. Your parents allowed you to climb this. They didn't know. My brother took me. Those readings, Peter, I've been wanting to talk to you about them. Are they consistent with what they've been reporting in South America? They're not as high, but they're high. 
Oh, your equations still work. It doesn't disprove the model. We can still plot the paths of the air currents. But still, something's not right. Uh, I guess they're going somewhere with this, but I can't tell where. I don't know enough about that era, I think. Figure out what's going on. Before my time. And you walk. Thank you. The hell is that? The gripping. Keep down. Oh. What is it? The white tailed eagle. Haven't seen that it seems too big. Amazing things. It's caught something. This is special. I thought they were extinct, poisoned by pesticides. She's come out just for us. Ah, new life, eh? Oh. Wonder if we'll see anything like that again. Wonder where it came from. It makes me think, where did it come from? I mean, the extra radiation. Where did that come from? Yeah, that's gonna be something sure the story focuses on. Of all this new equipment. But again, I don't know what. Maybe something with potential strikes because there weren't any accidents back then, I think. Chernobyl was way later. readings oh, come on take my hand there you go right but I'm not sure when this is so right let's try and work it out all right so what do we know we know the readings are at their highest down in the southern hemisphere and not as high here, up north. Right. Oh, it might be the Bay of Pigs thing, right? It's being diluted somehow, is my thinking. Uh, mixed in by all the currents. That would make sense. It was 70s. Well, it's it's heading from the south up to the north. Yes. Why are you in the ground? There are some issues with the animations. Obviously, the clipping. Your model of the air currents. That would prove that's what's happening, that there's this general movement north. I think we need to find out where this radiation came from in the first place. We've been running the model forwards all this time, but. Our starting point has always been South America. I, I could look again at the model, perhaps. Run it differently, you mean? Run it backwards. See where these air currents originate. The radiation has to be coming from somewhere. Somewhere further south. South of the Antarctic Circle, maybe? Mm. I don't know. Half of the circle. What? Hence the name of the game. People are going to want to hear about it. I hope so. I think we might be onto something. This is bigger than just clouds, you mean? <laughs> bigger than clouds! Although I know you can't believe such a thing. Ah, well, I might, given the chance. It might be what this paper is meant to be about.
Hold on. Just want to get a bit higher. I know I've fought. Oh, Matt's working. It's windy up here. Are you cold? Yeah, a bit cold. <laughs> the very idea. Is that? Oh, it's here in the past. Okay. We are definitely doing well in the present. Beautiful view. Huh. It would, it would be a beautiful thing. It would be, if you wanted to do it. It would change the whole focus of the paper. You might be needing some help. Already got some help. Would you like to help me with it? Writing it. Well, of course. It could be that beautiful subject I was talking about. Oh, so now it's yours, is it? <laughs> well, of course not. But... Well, it could be ours, though. This beautiful thing. You saw getting arrested, then. Come here. Those trees down there. If we run, <sighs> here it comes. If it hits us, you could take my job. Yeah, England. Scouts honor. <laughs> Scouts honor. Let's go then. We have only seen here in uh, flashbacks too. Which I guess makes sense since we just in the Arctic. This isn't the way back, is it? I know another way around. Don't worry. We'll get less wet. As words, I'm not gonna say that. Wait! <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? Yes, but slow down! I mean the new idea, the paper. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's great. It's great. Really? Finally. I'm plus plus forward again. What the hell is that? That is weird. <laughs> Disappeared. Unfair, what? How high are we? I don't even know. We'll see. Uh, let me take a short break, I'll be right back. Only two streets.
Right. Right. Sorry about that. Let's continue. <laughs> it's so much better at night, don't you think? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I saw them setting up this afternoon. It was all chaos and scaffolding, but now it's more... Oh, I don't know. Um, exciting, I suppose. <laughs> Not just all that. This? This. You realise this is a big occasion, don't you? It's the first time you've taken me out, Dr. Hamilton. No. <laughs> At night? In public? Not working, not hiding a wee anywhere. We're out. Courting. Courting. <laughs> <laughs> Cuddly toy? Oh, you know me so well. Go on then, boys and their toys. Is it not? There is no one there? I remember those, by the way. What are you doing? As you said, you open them like that. Courting. Are you now? Ten shots, sir. There you go. Knock down all the cans, affairs yours. Or more likely yours. I think this one's more for him. Not many men can do what I'm about to do. And you have good aim, <laughs> do you? My knight in shining armor. Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. I doubt it. <laughs> well, I, I, I've always thought I'd be good in the army. If only books hadn't gotten in the way. Go on then, prove yourself, army man. Oh, I see. Well, now, maybe I had you all wrong. Oh, okay. You really don't need to prove anything. That's it, my lad. Only another five of them. Oh, our father taught us. Because, we'll of course. Of course, he did. Now, what's he up to, cheeky little bugger? Spoiling our game. Go on, see if you can get him. No, dude, I'm not killing the bird. What the fuck? Ah, you missed it. Psycho. Uh, that's uh, that's enough, I think. What's the matter, Peter? <clears throat> I'm fine. Huh. We're definitely not fine. Fine is far, far, far from what we are. We did have these festivals, carnivals, whatever you want to call them, back when I was growing up, and it was one of my favorite things to go to. Like, everything was super cool, like fishing for the thing, or dropping the circles, or, you know, the cars that crashed to each other. Man, I love that shit. We had two huge ones uh, close to where I lived. Two things making colors. Like, everything was just... I don't know if, if it is because I was a child, probably. But everything was so... Exciting.
I did love that stuff growing up. That's it. the hell are they going with this story? It's obvious with the things that are happening don't make any sense. CCCP, I see. We're still with the Russians, Soviets, whatever. Something tells me it's gonna be radio inside and we'll talk to the totally not dead uh, totally there co-pilot. I wonder if there even is a co-pilot. Yep. This might all be a hallucination, I guess. It almost says the same thing, too. That sounds like I'm keeping it together. <laughs> no one, just, just a mine, a, a radioactive symbol. A mine? God, where the hell are we? Can you see anything else? F Floyd, Floyd, I can see the ship at last. <laughs> uh, mountains, bay, ship, like we said. I can, I, I, I can see it. Don't see, we don't know if it's Norwegian. And there's a, a boat, a small boat on this side. Okay, so that's something. Do you think you can use it to get across? It might Why not, at this point? Do, except stay here. Yeah, and for a penny. Do. I want to give up this close to the finish line. I'm counting on you. We're not going to die out here. Count on me. This isn't even on, I don't think. You know, where you are. you know, the light is not on on the radio. Or here. There's no light anywhere either. Hello? I'm here, I can do it. I just need to warm there is a light there. Everything. You have to. Please, Peter. I don't want 
This is definitely not head. I'll be really surprised if that's actually a person. Probably a person we met too and I don't recognize the voice. Let's take something before we continue. Sorry. All right. So the game is short. Three and a half hours. So I wonder. I've done one hour thirty. Plus 40 minutes, I think it was the first look. Let me check. Plus of a circle, 41 minutes, yeah. So I've done about two hours. Maybe I should uh, keep it here and then um, continue next time and finish it. Yeah, th this is what I will do. I don't want to leave it like 30 minutes or something. So I'll end the stream here and next time it's gonna be Tuesday. Uh, I'm gonna finish uh, this game, which again rather short, but who cares? It's a good game. And you know. I'm enjoying it. Uh so thanks for joining by. I'll be back Tuesday with more. South of a circle. And then I don't know, we'll see. Bye bye.